Hey everybody, it's Scott with Rattlesnake Preparedness Group. Well, today is day seven on our chicken egg incubation. So we're going to flip the camera around and wifey's going to show us what we got going on. Alrighty, let's see here. Hey guys. Oh, Anna Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have my little assistant. She brings good luck, I guess. We'll see. Anyway, so these eggs have been in since Saturday, Sunday, Sunday. December 12th and they've just been doing their thing the humidity and everything is pretty much already preset in this thing um, it has fluctuated a little bit it's currently at 47% humidity do not ask me why and 99.3 the set temperatures you see it says current there the setting temperature is 99.5 so it's okay for these eggs according to this I don't know we're gonna see um I have not yes I have not added any um, water to this incubator since we put it in. It's been full, so I didn't see a reason to. Again, this is our first rodeo, so I have no clue if I screwed this up. But we're going to find out right around Christmas time. So, are we gonna find out, Mama? yeah, we're going to find out if our chickies are growing. Right? <coughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Hi. Okay. They're going to be tiny. Can you go shut that light off in the dining room for me, please? Or do you want me to do it? I'll do it. I'll do it because it's fast. <laughs> Say hi to the YouTube. Whoa, it just got dark. <laughs> Help, let me out. I'm stuck in the dark. Okay. That's almost as bad as that ringtone that says, Help, I'm stuck in, in your pocket. <laughs> so for candling, what you're going to need, good old-fashioned flashlight. Make sure it's one of the brighter ones. Don't get a dull one. A dull lighted one because you ain't gonna see crap. And an egg. Specifically a chicken egg, if that's what you're incubating. That's gonna really suck if you get I don't know, a duck egg and you're incubating chickens. I people are dumb. So all we're gonna do here is I'm gonna put it on and you see this son of a gun is pretty stinking bright. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this egg and it's <coughs> real easy. Kind of set the egg on. Now this has kind of a um a bowed kind of lens on it. So I'm gonna kind of put my hands here to kind of keep the egg stable. And as you see, it's kind of all just Nice and pretty. You can't see nothing. There's nothing going on in there. Why? Because it came out of this carton of eggs that was not incubated. That is what a non-incubated egg looks like. We're going to use that same idea, same process, to see how these little buggers have turned out. So, I have a bright light over here. It's going to look like a lightsaber. <laughs> Baby Yoda is not here, though. Although my son thinks he is. Anyway. So we are going to open this little crapper up and hope to God something went well. I'm going to start with this guy way back here. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, these feel a lot heavier than they did last week. So I'm hoping that's a good sign. But this ah. is a crap. This is one of our eggs from our golden sex links. I couldn't even see the right shade because it's dark in here. Mommy. So we will see. What? They didn't come out, but we're going to see how they're growing. Now, if, ooh, ooh, we're getting something, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see how it's, I know this is really crappy, how it's lighter here and it's darker up here. That is progress. I've already cracked this open, which I'm not going to unless I drop it, and I don't plan on doing that. Um, if I were to crack this open, you would probably start seeing what is called, um, the spider veins and the beginning stages of an of a uh, embryo in there. Normally, you can see it. It looks like a bullseye, just like with the regular um, rooster fertilized, you know, egg. When your rooster decides to get his dirty on, and you crack that egg, and you see, ugh, it stinks like hot, warm styrofoam. Ugh. You'll see it has the, the bullseye, and then right around where that bullseye is, it's darker right there, and there's a white circle right around that. 
um, when you crack it open, you should see it when you candle, but with brown eggs, it's a lot harder from what I've been reading. So, so far we've got one. Let's see what the rest of them look like. And I'm just going row by row, opening it, and then I'm going to close it right after. Actually, I don't know if my eyes are playing tricks on me, but that kind of looks like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of, uh, brightness in my face, so. Yep. I mean, and then you look, you can see where it is lighter, a little bit darker, and the darkest, and you, ooh, I can actually see the spider veins in this one. Yep, I can too, um, I got them in the camera too. Oh, right, it's the light coming out of you from around your hand. Yep, which you means, really see it. you guys, we're doing something right. <coughs> Y'all have to forgive me coughing, I'm a little under the weather. Not the vid, I promise. You know, we we've already had the vid back in September. We've all recovered just fine, and we are not vaccinated, and we survived. Yep. See what this little guy's doing. Something's forming in here. Yep. Um, I can't really see any... Oh, I did. As soon as you move that, it's bouncing around. Oh, yeah, right look at here. that. That's kind of yep. cute. That's cool. Yeah, it is. Um, there's a little dot. I don't know if you guys can see it right here. Yep. I got it in the camera. And it was moving, yep. And it's moving. That is your embryo that's moving around. Okay, we don't want to give it shaken baby syndrome. I no. mean, shaken chicky syndrome, whatever it's called. <laughs> Which means we are doing something right. Yep. Okay, Pipsqueak. This is from my hen. I named her Pipsqueak because, well, anyway, long story. Yeah. Let's see if she's doing oh. anything. That's what I thought. You guys are so yep. excited. See it there too. Right, there. right there. Yep. Right there, you guys. Yes. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm excited. <laughs> screw you, Tractor Supply. <laughs> well, I can't say that too early, though, because I might screw this up between now and hatching day. Oh, I'm starting to smell that warm plastic now. This one may not make it. Why is that? And the reason why I say that is because everything I've seen, you have the lighter, the darker, and it's always slightly lighter here. There's really not a whole lot of slightly lighter. Yeah, and it's deep, but I see spider veins in there through the camera lens. Yeah, right in here. Yeah. So this guy we're gonna let sit back in there for another week. Yep. And because we only have 11, I'm not even gonna mark them. If you have more than 11, if you're like incubating, let's say 40 of them, Mark them if you don't think that they're going to make it. I mean, and what's the worst that's going to happen? They're going to make it? Mm -hmm. And you marked the wrong one? Whew, this puppy is really heavy. This one is really heavy, you guys. Oh, Holy God. shit. Yep, you can see the spider veins in it really good. And there's, and the, there's the embryo. embryo. Yep. That's a double, isn't it? That looks like a double embryo. I can't tell. It looks like there's one here and here then here. And here. Well, we will find out once hatching happens because yeah. that's actually kind of act, that might just be spider veins too. It I don't really be. know. So, so let's check the next one. What yep. baby girl? Yeah. Yeah, they're happy. I'm very happy. I don't know about them, but I am. I keep saying this, and I haven't said it for every single egg, but guys, I'm not even playing. Like, these bitches are heavier than what they were when I put them in. I probably, like, feel this. Oh, yeah. They're definitely, much heavier. Definitely a lot heavier than what we're used to. And it's yep. right up here. Yep. And that little sucker. Mm-hmm. So, so far, we have exactly seven-day formation from everything I have seen on Google. Again, Google mm -hmm. is not the tell, be all tell all, guys. But no. hell, when you're a first timer trying to figure this out. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It definitely looks like, yep. If you look right there, it looks like there's an embryo there. Some spider bean. Well, so far these look so far like they they're supposed to. Yeah, so far it looks promising. Look 
This one's a little harder to see through. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. yep, right yep, there. there it is. Yep. We're good. Look at that. Look at that. You guys, I'm so proud. <laughs> first time chicken noter, first time chicken incubate. That sounds so bad. <laughs> Like, I'm not incubating my things with shit. They're doing their the job. Ni the nice part is, y'all are coming along for the ride with us on this one, so. I'm just kind of spinning it. Mm -hmm. Just to, ooh. Now, this one is a maybe. I don't see any embryo in there, but then again, it could be, you know, somewhere yeah, different. Right. But it's definitely got the light and the a little medium and hell i could be wrong you know this could be an air pocket for all i know I'm, yeah. guys I'm, I'm new to this so if you guys have any piece of advice please leave, leave us me a, know. yeah leave us a message in the comments i mean it's looking promising and i'm kind of getting excited but like i've been saying i'm also not holding my breath like i'm expecting none of them to survive why because then if they all if i expect all of them to hatch and none of them hatch and be really bummed out so if mm -hmm. i expect nothing to happen something will mm -hmm. that's just how my luck's always been god bless that i can't see oh yeah there that uh -huh. little sucker is there is some vein i don't know if you can see yeah, them. You can see Ooh. Uh -huh. that little guy's moving around so that was the last one um so all of them at this point look viable Turn on a little bit of light here so I can see how I'm doing. Um, the water in here, it looks good. I'm not even going to mess with it. Um, but we might get 11 little chicks on Christmas. Mm -hmm. We're right around. When we put them in, they take 21 days. Granted, just like, you know, your regular big hens when they start laying eggs they say between 16 and 20 weeks i have hens out there that are 22 weeks and they have yet to lay their first egg they don't read calendars mm -hmm. so 21 days is supposed to be the incubation period you can keep them in there 23 days if it hasn't hatched after 23 days i highly advise you throw them away because they will explode apparently supposedly um and apparently it's stank to high hell i'm not cleaning that freaking mess so after about 23 days, I'm going to throw the whatever's in here in the trash. Unfortunately, they wouldn't have made it, but we get to candle one more time, which is an additional seven days. So next Saturday, which would be the 18th mm -hmm. or something, 18th, 19th, somewhere in there, um, we will candle again, see their progress. Now, just for you guys to know, of course, I've got... Come on, you damn phone. Um, Fox News. Sorry, guys. So, this is according to Google. Google. It's not the end of the all. That's what we're looking for, that little dot right there, which is what we have found mm -hmm. um, in ours. Um, so, that's good. That is positive. Um, apparently, according to Google, again, not the end all be all, but apparently that is a non-viable. The air sacs on the side. Mm -hmm. Everything's kind of on the side, not on the top or bottom. I'm assuming, I'm assuming, you guys. I, I really have no freaking clue. Um, we are going to see what two-week incubation looks like um let me see thank you baby what are you <gasps> are you back there munching on goldfish yes she's oh, back here oh my goodness Okay, see. you guys, I can't find it. Like, I found it for ducks, but... <laughs> it's okay. It is what it is. So, I guess we're just going to go ahead and take a stab in the dark and just hope and pray to God none of these explode. <laughs> right. And go from there. So, according to this, temperature's still good. I might add a little bit of water because it's still sitting at 49% humidity. Um, but, 
we just opened it so I don't really know if I want to do that but it's been sitting in the 40s since this morning so probably wouldn't be a bad idea yeah and the ideal humidity is within um, according to everything I've seen online it's 50% or higher now with this incubator it has to be 60 to 80% for it to be accurate well it's been fluctuating mm -hmm. so there's really no you know what I mean like there's no telltale sign of like if it's correct or not correct um, until you have viable or not viable eggs yes turkey baster run a cup for this one in specific, you have to add the water with the turkey baster. Thank God I have one, but you add it with the turkey baster. I don't know why. That's just the way it is. So we're going to add some water, and I guess we'll show you guys how to add water or not. I don't know. I don't know what we have planned, so. Mm -hmm. Well, we kind of shoot them dark, so. Literally, the light's off. So. No pun intended there. So I'm going to grab some water real quick. All right. Yeah, now that the light's back on. <laughs> the light, it burns, I'm melting. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to turkey baste these bitches. Okay. I didn't turkey baste my kids, but I did my chickens. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so bad. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, this is going to be kind of difficult with him holding that. So, um, you want me yeah. to hold it up for you? No, like off. Okay. Okay. Got it. That works even better. Oh, so what man. we're gonna do is when we add some water, there's some channels down here. I don't know if you can see them back here, but there's some channels, and you can see there's water in there. Yeah. But the humidity, the only way to adjust the humidity on this thing is to add more water. So, oh shit. Are we gonna use some water to make some well I'm just chickens? putting it in those channels because apparently the turkey baster is the way to go. I'm starting to dislike this idea. Why do you say that? Because it's getting everywhere. Now, for those of you tuning in, this here is the automatic egg turn that does not come with this incubator at all. Um, and it's just in the freaking way. But for those of you on a homestead that have more than just chickens, you have full-time jobs, that includes children, ladies. There are 17 full-time jobs in one child. Like, it's crazy. Full-time jobs, kids, a family, whatever. The automatic egg turner for this past week has been my friend. Because I completely forgot about these little suckers for two days. Just think. Forget about them when you don't have an automatic egg turner. And you don't turn them, you can kill them. So if your goal is to have a successful hatching... Get the automatic egg turner. It saves a lot of stress, aggravation, remembering, all of that crap. Now, keep in mind, though, this automatic egg turner is coming out at day 18, and we will go ahead and candle again next week, and then we'll go ahead and show you guys how to take that out and how to lay them in there, the whole nine, and go from there. Um, uh-uh, no, ma'am. We don't need to be cooking anything. You don't need to mess um, it up. Thank you. This is the little giant it's styrofoam so it's holding the heat and the humidity rather well i'm very actually surprised I'm, I'm kind of impressed actually um, i didn't expect that styrofoam to hold up like that so. it is and it's doing a yeah. good job and actually at this moment here you come over here it's the set the set temperature it's already you know programmed at mm -hmm. is 99.5 it's already at 51 percent humid humidity the current temperature is only at 90, but we had just we opened, had it, opened it, too, and I did so. not add in water mm -hmm. that was 99, whatever, you know, whatever the temp was. I didn't add in that temperature of water. I just threw in some warm or cool water. Cool water <coughs> went in, so that's going to affect the temperature a little bit, too, but it is creeping up. Now it's at 91.2. This will... What? This will fluctuate. 
you guys get this little giant like i said it's styrofoam they're not even they're not paying me to you know promote them or whatever mm -mm. so far so good i so highly almost i highly a... advise this i love this little thing it just sits up here on my counter away from my children who have tiny hands so and this is kind of a review and a uh and a how to do yes it is it is and so far so good i, I have nothing to bitch about um the good thing is the bonus to this little giant this little sticker right here made in the usa you don't have nothing from china or india or mexico god forbid you know you don't have nothing from other countries this is made and sold here so i mean i'm guessing they probably sell them overseas too but these these are made here in the u.s and we just got this at our local feed store it was actually fairly cheap i think it was like a total of 90 bucks for the automatic egg turner and the incubator you go to tractor supply you're going to spend over a hundred dollars and that's with the automatic egg turner already built in and the whole nine no ma'am oh, no, kids man. i tell you um what i love you too my house is a wreck guys sorry um yeah, we're doing some rearranging so. yes oh my god <laughs> but um tractor supply has incubators they're part plastic they're gonna weigh probably a crap ton probably a crap ton but they're also over a hundred dollars pop you can order them through amazon we were gonna order ours through amazon and i think the one we were looking at was a little over a hundred or something and you have to wait if you have prime which most people do it's like two days if they're not sold out mm -hmm. or if it's not on a delay yeah. or if it's not broken if it's broken you gotta send it back and wait you know however much time <coughs> You good? <coughs> then we have children trying to inhale apple juice because that works out very well. Um, this little giant. <coughs> but you're not supposed to breathe and drink at the same time. You okay? <laughs> uh, children, I tell you, children. Um, if you have a local feed store, stop in and see. This was the last one we had at our feed store. It doesn't mean that they're not going to get any more doesn't mean that they're on back order it just means that that's the only one that they had in store they probably don't sell them that frequently where we live although you would think so because we're rural florida and everybody has a farm out here so i don't freaking know incubators take crap every once in a while and they have to go buy a new one so you would think they would have had more but they didn't um go to your local feed store i mean with all this crap going on with this pandemic i mean pandemic um shop local shop local shop and and support those those local businesses they're the ones that are going to be struggling and all this crap walmart does not carry these i hate that damn store anyway um tractor supply well if this hatching works i'm going to hate that store too because their prices are outrageous <laughs> the only reason i like tractor supply is that's where i got my chickens from but their incubators are retardedly expensive shop local you're probably going to pay a little bit you know more for one piece or the other whatever but it might just come out cheaper and you're going to support a local business which means you're not supporting a ceo's bermuda bahama freaking cuba vacation you're going to support a family being able to eat a family being able to do extracurriculars with their with their kids a family trying to survive and they're normally living in your local area just like you it, it, it might even be your neighbor yeah um i mean our na our our landlord's um daughter and her husband he is the manager of a local outdoor supply i'll, I'll just call it an outdoors uh supply and fun shop <coughs> locally here you okay and yeah so i mean if, we're, we're not going to discuss exactly what they sell, but if you were to... Goodness. She keeps interrupting me. This was not authorized. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, if, if you're kind of the people that we are, which if you're watching this channel, you most likely are, just take local outdoors and fun into your own mindset, and mm -hmm. you'll know exactly... Well, I swear... Yeah, you'll it, know exactly what we're just talking about basically if it goes click and then 
followed by an immediate boom. Yeah, then freedom seeds, bro. Freedom yeah, seeds, boomsticks, and all that good stuff. So wireless hole punchers. Anyway, <laughs> Second Amendment rules. <laughs> Okay, just shop local. Yeah. Shop local, and, and and I'm saying that, and yet I still go to Walmart as well. I try to avoid that damn store. I really do. I try to avoid it. But when you have children, you have diapers and pull-ups and wipes and things of that nature. It's kind of hard to shop local. But I try to stay as local as possible. So I mean, even if it's just going to your farmer's market and getting, I don't know, bag of apples, mm -hmm. it's better than going to Walmart or where we live, Publix, mm -hmm. and when Dixie's, you know, and, and I'm not trying to throw them under the bus, they do have good sales some days, they do have really good products in some points, but shop local, keep them local businesses open, and let's shut down the big idiots that are making all the money and going on all these damn cruises. Getting off that rant, just get this at your local feed store. It's gonna be a lot cheaper. It's gonna be, so far, so far, better quality. Mm -hmm can't guarantee that by the time we get done with this and it works it's working and hopefully it'll continue to work and hopefully December 26 would be 21 days I don't know why she's obsessed with knives you guys no ma'am um December 26 will be come here 21 <laughs> days she can't touch knives now <laughs> um and they're supposed to be hatched on December 26th. Again, they don't read calendars. So. It can vary. I would say anywhere from Christmas Eve to December 28th. I would give it about five days. I've heard, I've heard people having eggs hatch on day 19. And the chicks survive and be totally fine. I've heard of people have, you know, eggs hatch on day 21. Be completely fine and then kill over so it's just one of those things you just have to figure out for yourself and like i said they don't read calendars so until next week mm -hmm. more candling more progress and hopefully more news that is good and positive because we need that in our lives right now mm -hmm. with all this crap going on in washington but mm -hmm. that's another rant until next time we will see you next week for more candling yeah and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff helps us with the uh, the YouTube algorithms and all that good stuff. Leave comments, whatever, and thanks for keeping up with RPG. And we will be doing some reviews on some holsters for y'all. Oh yeah, Very well, soon. holsters, belts, um... I mean, this one here is kind of its own review oh, on, the, on the incubator. Okay. I'm <laughs> on, the in the way. <laughs> on the incubator, but yeah, we got some review videos we're going to be making. And she's also got a med bag video she's going to be making too, so. Ladies, or men, who have ladies in their lives who carry pets with them everywhere they go have them tune in i have a video on a specific holster that is specifically for women only sorry yeah. guys you're left yeah. out of this one guys can't use this one so are we we're, well, I'll put it wait, this wait, way we, we could use it but we're not built right hold on it. no i have to correct him in today's day and age men can use it because they can self-identify as something else but if you're on this channel and you self-identify as something else please leave that to yourself because your dna made you who you are so at the end of the day women tune in i got a holster just for you for a review i love the damn thing i use it every single day yeah she does um tune in and men if you're watching tell your moms your sisters your wives your daughters your whoever tune in and we should have that up i'm gonna go ahead and say we might even do those either tonight or tomorrow we should have them up by midweek if, you, if yeah. YouTube is nice to us, we'll have them up midweek. Yeah, because unfortunately with rural internet, you know, it's okay. based off the old dial-up system because our internet runs through our phone line. Yeah. It takes about 12 hours to upload a video. Yeah, so <laughs> hopefully when income tax comes in, we're we're seriously looking at the uh, the Starlink by Elon Musk. So, Sorry, I had, yeah. I had to say a little prayer. Hopefully. <laughs> well, uh, we'll see what's going to go on there. And if that's the case, we might just do a review on that, too, you know, for folks that way out in the sticks that uh, 
don't get internet service. I mean, we're so far on the sticks, I have to drive at minimum 20 miles one direction to get to the grocery store out in the sticks, okay? When we say we're out in the sticks, we're out in the sticks. And that's why we're doing what we're doing here, is that way we can have self-sustainability, which is homesteading, which is doing the things, which is, like I said, you know, preparedness is not a hobby. It is a way of life, and doing this proves it. So, from all of us here, thanks for watching. See y'all on the next one.